This year, the holidays are going to be a little different. So let essential sensations set the mood for a festive time with family, even if you have to be apart, with Sounds of the Holidays, available now for download. Just because you might not be able to be around the family this year doesn't mean you'll have to spend the holidays alone. Essential Sensations has curated the perfect ambient soundscape to bring the holidays to you with classic holiday auditory memories like chewing, crackling candy wrappers, snores and sneezes, <laughs> painful burn. Family time. Don't tell me. I find no. hair all your hair all over the place. Oh my god, then you shouldn't have kids. Walmart. Shut the fuck up! You all better repent! Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand! Flying to grandma's. Attention American and Eagle no Flyers. Flight just there is no flight! There is no flight! Construction Sunrise. And many more. So download the latest from Essential Sensations right now and fill your home with the sounds of the holidays. Only from Essential Sensations. Day doth rest its sparkly visage early, like it's night at like 5 p.m. now. Tis but to tale, for the warmth in our hearth out shonies the day, and twill burn into the widow's hour. Feel ye that crispy snap on the wind, that tickling finger in your ear on the breeze as you doff your woolen cap, that zesty tit pinch on the air as you wander the streets of the city. Harking to all who shall listen, you there! Throw open your sashes and let the yule tide in. Tis time to snuggle, bundle with each other against Father Winter's sassigacity. And I, for one, am fucking here for it because really there's nothing you can't make better when you're bundled, drunk on sweet boozy treats, and something nearby is on fire. I'd do fucking fractions and take an economics quiz with that kind of setup. Of course it is a survival tactic, but what isn't? You might as well enjoy the biology, humans. It's not going anywhere. And you got it for free. But if you are alone this time of year, fear not. 
for there are plenty of new and exciting flavors of beer to warm your cockles around now. Winter lager, Christmas stouts, whiskey-infused cider glog, you name it, butter it, and put it some nutmeg on it, and it's a holiday treat. It's good for the tums. Me, I like a good whiskey stoking the coals of my craw, but if you happen to have loving kith to cozy with as the world ices, you can't beat it. So get ye to hinge, high ye to tinder, trot use to your bumble, and meet responsibly, for if the variants won't kill us, the chill shall. Also get your boosters and mask the fuck up. Does your love life suck? Are the apps just not cutting it for you lately? Introducing Data Doll, a new app where we, two fags, recreate your love life through the power of dolls. 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 Nervous to go on a date? We'll go on a date for you, playing out all the possibilities of these two dolls. I brought a giant meatball. Okay. I brought you a boombox. I brought you a meatball. For a limited time, our free trial will include playing out your life right between for your eyes. Good night, honey. I love you in this life that we have built. I love you too. Little people with helping hands. For an additional fee, you can download your mind into this doll. For only $300 a year, this can be all yours. So call now, because supplies are limited. Fuck, I gotta calm down. I can't get too wild or I'm gonna pull my cracker too soon. Then there's gonna be glitter everywhere. But it is hard not to be juby when tis the merry times. And I mean like all holidays, not just Christmas. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking full-on winter proof in your soul, however you can find it. My people flock south around now, so this barely applies to them. I stick around because I dig the fucking scene. I love winter. I love swaddling myself, looking like Lenny Kravitz's garage sale. It's just so nice and peaceful. Ah, peaceful. Peace on earth. Goodwill towards whomever's buying. That's the key to the holidays. Just keeping it easy no matter what. Because the world wants to kick you in the dick this time of year. And you're not going to let it. Gold. I'm not leaving here without a goal. Somebody give me a goal, please. I absolutely need a goal. No goals? You gotta be kidding me. Have you checked the bag? I've been to five different places. Nobody has goals. 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 Where are you? Get fit. Go on more dates. Get a new job. See, I told you they had goals. We need help with our goals. Please help us. Please. 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 I'm trying to set goals. Call now. Simplify my life. life. Simplify my life. life. Keep it drama Keep it, free. Keep it, Keep it, drama. Drama. Call now. <laughs> No, no. Easy me. Hold fast. I shan't be getting pissed, getting kicked off the Wi-Fi that I'm pirating by ads. This festive time of year has me all a flutter. I care not for your interruptions, internet, for I am chuffed with the glow of sparkle trees, and my heart is full of nog. It's hard not to be delighted during the winter times when everybody's dressed like a Dickens character. You assume at any moment someone will burst into carols and suddenly everybody knows the lyrics and the harmonies and then the dancing begins. Plus, my brain is basically hard cheese after the amount of charcuterie I've been eating. So it is tough to have a thought, let alone a negative. Plus, you can't get too excited. Because though we be writhing in exaltation to avoid hypothermia, holly jolly joy means shit's going to get expensive. Hence the reason for all these ads. I apologize to everybody for that, but it is costing me a small fortune to broadcast while the outside of my place is bright enough to land a plane. So let's just get ahead of it here and pause for a word from our actual sponsor. Chicago, it's cold out. Happens this time every year. And you know what that means? 
Everyone with seasonal allergies or asthma is breathing the free air. Oh shit, the heater just turned on. What I'm saying is you're gonna be spending more time inside, which means running more things, which means more electricity. Fortunately, there's a way to keep it clean and keep the lights on. Oh, oh sorry, hero power. The goal is simple. Create affordable, accessible, and easy ways for more people to support clean energy. All you gotta do is sign up today, and they will match 100% of your electricity use with Green E certified renewable energy certificates generated by wind farms in Illinois. You continue to pay ComEd, the only difference is now ComEd pays Hero Power for the supply portion of your bill, and then we send that money to local wind farms. It takes less than two minutes to sign up, even less if you have your ComEd bill next to your text in hand. You can cancel at any time, no termination fees. Hold up, there's so much more. Say you heard this from Chad the Bird, that's me, and they will take $25 off your next electricity bill. That's a deal hot enough to kick your blanket habit right out the window. Get the hell out of here. Hero Power customers have already funded over 5 million kilowatt hours of clean electricity. So go to MyHeroPower.com right now and survive the winter with clean energy. And also don't forget to clean and dust your radiators. But I'll turn them off first. Are you gonna hold on to that? Yeah, you're right. See, that's the real peen smack about this time of year. It's the want, it's the need to really do it up, light the trees. Watch the streaming specials, toast with the good stuff. But who the hell has that kind of money? Me, I keep it simple. I make cocktails so I can use the budget shit. I buy my scented candles from Walgreens. Pringles, Totino's pizza rolls, little Debbie zebra cakes. And as I crash from the diabetic amount of high fructose corn syrup and ditch booze I've been eating, I pass out to a book. Seriously, you remember books? When's the last time you curled, actually curled, up next to the space heater and read by its light? It's lovely. It's good for you. And best of all, it's cheap as fuck. Hey guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing the top 12 books of 2021 that everyone should read or else. January's uh, book, as you might recall, um, Infinite Jest. Man, what a way to start the year. Um, with over a thousand pages written by um, an abuser, how else could you better be spending your time? February's book, in honor of Black History Month, was The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, so that every high schooler, all month long, can hear their white AP English teacher repeatedly say the N-word some mornings, I wake up feeling incredibly disgusting, and then I look in the mirror to realize that I have indeed turned into a giant, horrifying cockroach. Thank God March's book was The Metamorphosis, because now I don't feel so alone. April was on death and dying, because death is dying. I mean, death is coming. Just get ready. The aunt, the The camera angle keeps changing, and I don't care. It was Infinite Jest, again. June, a delightful novel about shooting your mentally disabled best friend. July, a delightful novel about shooting your mentally disabled best friend. In hardback. 
August um, is um, this text, um, The Fruit of the Family Tree. It's actually a book about eugenics. September has no book in honor of 9-11. I skipped the book for October. I don't know. It just seemed kind of boring. I don't remember what month I'm on, but this is a field guide to the birds. So, you know, you can learn a bunch of information that will soon become irrelevant once everything goes extinct. But great for trivia. Benton's Graham Cracker. Well, would you look at that? Someone else in my building is reading, too. Two strangers doing things around the same time as everyone else with no regard for each other. Just dual energies lighting up in the darkness. Well, if that ain't the holiday spirit, I don't know what is. So let us all get lit and burn brightly together, connected, even if we don't know it. Peace on Earth. Goodwill to each other. And as the year comes to a close, the resolution I wish for you all is to stay safe, stay warm, stay in love. Get drunk, be merry, get full, bang on the rug, should that be your thing. And remember the good shit you have regardless of expense. Zoom each other when it gets tough. And most importantly, as we head into the next chapter of this ridiculous timeline, remember, it will get dark, but you are all the light you need. So don't you ever, ever worry. I was reading a book by Dr. Wayne Dyer. He's no longer with us. He's permanently retired, but there was this one chapter that I found truly inspired. He said that guilt and worry are the most useless emotions of all. So just remember that whenever those feelings come to call. It doesn't matter how much you feel it, how big or how small. He's talking about guilt and worry. Guilt and worry, they solve nothing, is what he said in the book. He said, those mo he said that those emotions solve nothing. They don't fix anything. They're not constructive. They don't, they solve no nothing. They solve nothing. They're useless, useless emotions, he called them. That was the name of the chapter. And yet that's... Those are the two emotions we all feel, but it's wasted time, which we know, but we're human beings, so we're gonna feel them, but, it, and it's okay to feel them, I think. I don't remember that part of the book. I, don't, I think he said like, you might feel them, but just keep in mind when you feel them that they accomplish nothing. You could be doing something constructive during the time that you're feeling guilty about something that happened in the past or worry about something that might, might happen in the future. It's not easy to like not feel those things. I mean, given my upbringing, all I those hey, that's all I feel is guilt. Look, it was in this is a great book, by the way. It's called The Erroneous Zones. And he says, he says, uh, a closer look at worry. There is nothing to worry about, exclamation point. Absolutely nothing. You could spend the rest of your life beginning right now worrying about the future, and no amount of worry will change a thing. Right? So we can worry, but it doesn't solve anything. So why not during that time when you're like, oh, I'm worrying about something. Why not think about something else? Go get a Starbucks or watch a video of two cats playing or something like that. And guilt, it's, he has a whole, there's a whole chapter is about guilt and worry, but he says something so profound about guilt. Uh, it was, oh, he has strategies. He says there's... It's a, the psychological payoffs for choosing guilt. And then he has a whole section and basically saying, there are none. And then he's like, there's school-inspired guilt, church-related guilt. Huh? 
uh, he says, uh, why feel, oh no, he says there's the origins of guilt and then he says, begin to view the past as something that can never be changed despite how you feel about it. It's over, exclamation point. It's over. Whatever you're feeling guilty about, you can feel guilty about it for like a little bit, but if you're feeling guilty about something that happened weeks ago, months ago, years ago, stop it. Look at this kid. Do you think he's feeling guilt or worry about anything? And I know what you're thinking. Bill, he's like, what, a year old? Yeah, what's your point? You're, what, 47 years old and you can't have that kind of smile on your face? You can. You can be whatever age and not have worry and guilt take over you. Although I'm feeling it right now because I, I stopped singing about seven hours ago. This song started with me singing and now I'm just ranting and I now I feel worry about how it's going to end because I didn't come up with an end. I didn't write an ending to this. But it's fruitless. It doesn't matter how this ends. It's going to have an ending no matter what I come up with. Whatever I come up with is going to be an ending. So I feel guilt to worry about it. They saw nothing. See, that's an ending. I'm fine. <laughs>